stop. Big day today. Big day. You guys aren't aware. This guy right here. She's up next. First off, Happy New Year, guys. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys missed, what was it? Two videos, two days ago, the video of the time lapse of this build, man. Super awesome. I'd really appreciate a share if you guys could go ahead and do that. But the first plan, the first plan for us today is to clear up this whole garage. That's that's gonna be a bit of a task. I got I got a buddy, I got good old Zach. Zach's coming through. We need to get all of this moved and out the way so we can get that in here, okay? We wanna be able to have, maybe possibly have both. I'm actually moving uh, into in my own place um, this week, so this is still gonna remain like the workshop until I find like a proper shop. Um, just there's no point moving all this stuff to the other house and then having to move it again. So that's kind of the plan, just wanna update you guys. So, But uh, yeah, we're making moves. 2019 is gonna be filled with awesome stuff, guys. But first, we're gonna start off. We are, uh, we're give, this whole car is getting a freaking whole, whole rebuild. So we're gonna try and get as much as we can get cleaned up today, get this thing in here, start ripping it apart. Should be a good day. This guy, supposed to come in with his S2000. This, this is what he shows up with. That is not an S2000. It's not a, it's not a Honda. What happened? What happened? I'm coping with that right now. I'm actually being dead serious, just like all the rust. This guy rolls up, says, yeah, I think my tire's low. You got a tire pressure gauge? Look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't look too bad on camera. All right. I was trying to make it look pretty bad, but it was a lot worse. What was it, 18 PSI? Good man. This is, this is wild. I have actually haven't seen this part of the garage floor in like, like six months. It's pretty great. So we gotta, actually, let's check out our setup. It's not, it's not final. Table was moved over there, so I gotta go ahead and clean that whole area up. But we still have a good amount of room. It's time, man. This is, this is the last time she's gonna be out in the daylight until she comes out a whole new car. Possibly a built RB with a sweet turbo. So it's gonna be awesome. Let's fire up. It should fire up real nice since it ran like three days ago. I wonder if Jerry's still in here. Jerry! Man, so this car just brings me back to like H2O days. Let's see if he'll start with no gas. I highly doubt it. It's got no idle valve. That was no gas! Woo! I'm actually surprised because with no idle valve, they're a little bit tricky in the cold. That's why I kind of have to help the Z out because that has no idle valve. But she good. That pulley's a little squeaky. A little crunchy. I've missed this. I've missed this. There we go, a little bit better. So, what are we looking at right here? Guys, this is my RB20. Precision 5558. We were running 750cc injectors. It is currently on a ECU Masters EMU. Um, that's a really about it. It has ARP head studs, OEM, uh, uh, not, a metal, not a metal head gasket, OEM style. Which honestly, I wish I would when I did it. 
I wish I went with a metal because we would have been able to run more boost and make more power. So um, we made 380 wheel horsepower on 18 pounds on 93 octane. So really awesome setup, 300 foot pounds of torque, really awesome motor. But guys, I think it's time we go ahead and give it a little bit of a revamp, some upgrades, and some just, we're gonna just make it better. So, also, we're gonna redo the engine bay. I think I'm gonna redo it the same color, but I'm gonna do it better. I actually have the intake manifold set up sold right now. Uh, let me rip that off, and then I guess we'll kind of talk a little bit more about plans and what I want to do with this thing and what you guys can expect. So, I'm gonna go ahead and start ripping some stuff off. How cool is it though to see both of them in here? Like, it's pretty epic. I, I just want to pop the hood. I'm gonna pop the hood just for just for visual pleasure. Who doesn't love a bit of RB and Jay-Z? I'm so blessed, man. Like, I never take it for granted. Like, the fact that we're able to have the two icons. Granted, it's not an RB26. One day. But I'm thinking, though, I have, I have the RB25 head right there. It'd be awesome to go ahead and buy an RB30 block and then do that kind of a deal. So that's, I guess, future plans. If you guys are wondering what future plans are for this car, that's kind of what I'm looking at. I have the head. We just need to find an RB30 block. Alright guys, so all for all my RB guys out there, if you guys are moving your intake manifold, there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bolts on top, and I believe there's going to be eight on the bottom. One that you guys may miss is one on the very, very front here. It's kind of hidden, but it's right under here. Just first things first, right there. We have our fuel injectors unplugged, coolant temp sensor, uh, which is this for ECU, and this is for our actual gauge in the car. Um, I just removed this little um, this coolant line that hooks up to the actual uh, intake manifold itself. Have our coolant line, the radiator upper radiator hose off. I have my little ground off. Uh, TPS disconnected. Brake booster line disconnected. Uh, fuel lines disconnected. So now technically, there you guys see it. She's she's coming off. It's got studs that you kind of have to guide it off. One in the front one at the rear, uh, I might have to go ahead and take off this fuel line back here. I almost forgot, uh, make sure you guys go ahead and disconnect your vacuum lines that are connected to it. So for me, I have my fuel pressure regulator, all my ports are underneath here, uh, my blow off valve, and I believe my boost gauge. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, just remove all of these little vacuum lines under here. It's kind of hard to tell, it's quite dark under there. But yeah, you guys get the point. Just remove everything that you think is even attached to it. You guys probably maybe not have this exact intake manifold style, but generally, um, if you guys have the crossovers, like the OEM style, I think you might be better off taking the upper portion apart uh, separately because these two are separate pieces, lower and upper plenum. So. Just a little heads up if you guys are still in that OEM life. Now there will be coolant that drains out of here, so you can either drain your coolant first or just kind of let it drain out itself. Not much will be in here, but you know, a bit for sure. We got some work to do, boys and girls. Look at all this wiring. That, that's. We can't have that. When you come over here, there is uh, there's really nothing under here. 
there's Nathan. Absolutely Nathan. Look at this. I mean, there's there's nothing in this engine bay. So we have uh, we have some standards over here that we gotta have to meet at least, right? That's all right. Oh, he, oh that was way too easy. The whale tail, whatever you want to call it, the whale schlong. Okay. Woo! Mr. Snail. The snail. Wow, yeah, this thing's great. It's kind of sold though, so sorry if you guys wanted it, it's sold. But it's a Precision 5558 if you're wondering. It's a great snail for an RB20. 0.443, real tiny T3 housing, but it's, it's mint. Yes, that is right. For that new video. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yeah, sus subscribe to Wicked Street Media. Woo! And Heavy D. <laughs> Later, dude. Have a good one. You too. Check it out. Look at this. Things already looking crazy bare. <laughs> uh, shout out to Extreme Power Toys. They're actually going to be going ahead and buying the hot side of this turbo. Uh, they are going ahead and actually tossing it on their. I think it's an EG hatch. Don't quote me, but I think they're doing an all-wheel drive RB26 EG hatch. So go ahead and check them out. They'll be tossing this whole setup on there. All I got to do now is remove the exhaust manifold and uh, the wastegate is uh, hooked up to it. So just a bunch of bolts to go ahead and remove. The nice part is the turbo didn't leak at all, but we did have a little leak at the downpipe. But that's the one that's important. Solid. Fed up with these expectations, they keep weighing me down. My heart is begging me to get the hell out of my head I'm gonna live inside the upside down For a minute and pretend Well, uh, I think we made a bit of progress today, guys. <laughs> This is crazy, man. This thing was running like not too long ago. Um, everything's off, so everything that is accounted for is currently sold is off. I am going to go ahead and sell my catch can. It's like, I mean, 20 bucks if someone wants to buy the catch can. I'm trying to think. Okay, guys, so actually, I got to sit down. I, 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 I need you guys to hear me out for a second. Let's take a seat. Here's what I'm thinking, guys. Um, does anyone want to buy this RB? For no reason, it's not like, you know, I don't know. I'm just thinking, like, if I'm going to go ahead and build an RB, do I want to build an RB20? Um, I haven't even experienced an RB25 yet personally, or, or RB26 myself. I don't know, I'm just thinking about it, man. I'm just thinking what would be the smartest move, especially uh, moving forward with the build as far as like content on YouTube, what would be the best for that, and what would be best for the long run. Like I don't just want to dump a bunch of money in um, where I could have dumped the same amount of money in into an RB25 or RB30 and uh, just been better off. Granted, RB25s don't like to rev that much. Um, the 20s rev their nuts off, which is cool, but I'm just thinking, like, would anyone want to buy the, like, the long block, the head and the block? Let me know. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I mean, we could completely change the path and go like SR, but SRs are very expensive and I don't really want to, I don't necessarily want to go SR. I kind of want to stay RB, but do we, do we continue to modify the 20? As much as I love the, like the 20, is it time to move on? Like I just want to be smart about my choices. I don't just want to do it just because all oh, I want to keep the 20 around. The 20 has done me great. It has taught me so much. It has treated me so well. Um, so maybe, I don't know, maybe someone else can now enjoy it um, the way it is. Because I just don't know if it's worth building an RB20. It would be super cool to go ahead and try and build like the highest horsepower or a very high horsepower RB20. But it's still an RB20 in the end. And uh, for that, I guess we could go ahead and do something a little bit better, a little bit bigger. Um, like I said, we have a 25 head. Do I want to go ahead and just scoop up a 30 block? Uh, any homies in Australia, if you guys can maybe talk to me and help me out, that would be cool. Um, I actually had one. I had like connections with one, but I, then I lost contact with the guys. He like was selling me the whole block for like 50 bucks or something like that. 
just one he had in his backyard that just, you know, in his shed that he wasn't using. So let me know what you guys think. I'm actually going to have dinner. It's like 9 p.m. right now. Uh, we're going to continue back up on with this tomorrow. Hopefully have the motor pulled and start cleaning things up and getting it ready for body work and get things rolling. But I just really want to figure out what we're doing with the motor. Um, that's kind of the biggest thing right now. But uh, I'm going to go. We're going to start moving my stuff into the new house. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys are stoked on this series. It's going to be exciting. A lot of stuff still to come on the Z. Like we're not forgetting about the Z. There's still a lot to come. But right now uh, we're diving in and having some fun with the 240 because I know you guys have missed it. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully, probably. Take it easy. Peace.